To work with a component, first it is checked out of the document repository using SDL Publication Manager. This means that the user is taking temporary ownership of this particular component and no one else can edit this content, which avoids version clashes. Content can be edited in SDL's own easy-to-use web-based browser editor, DraftSpace, or in industry-leading XML editing software, thanks to the SDL Trillion Docs authoring bridge capability. Oxygen is being used in this example, and the user is adding a new error code to the table. When content is added, an ID can be associated with it so that the content can be easily reused. When the updates are complete, the component is checked back into the repository. SDL Trillion Docs asks if the workflow status needs updating. Back in Publication Manager, the updated status appears next to the version number, and the content updates can be seen in the preview window. The selected checkbox alongside version 2 indicates that this updated version is being used in our publication. The Baseline tab also provides information about the objects used in the publication. It provides an overview of all the publication components and shows if there are newer versions available. Instead of manually clicking each one and selecting the latest version, you can use the Auto Complete feature to update them all to the latest version at once.